While some animals are terrifying, some are utterly adorable. But here's the thing, some of the cutest, most cuddly and snuggly animals in the world are actually some of the most lethal. These are cute animals that are actually deadly. Number 15. The Platypus This has got to be one of the weirdest looking animals on Earth. The platypus is certainly pretty cute, with its furry body, webbed feet, and duck-like bill. Kind of looks like what you might end up with if you asked a kid to create an imaginary creature. In fact, when the English first saw these amazing animals in the 18th century, they thought it was a trick, and that it was actually two creatures that were sewn together. However, this magical beastie, although strange, is absolutely real. The platypus only lives in eastern Australia on the island of Tasmania, and they're a crazy combination of a mammal, a bird, and a fish with some completely unique features. Now I know they look cute, but platypuses are hiding a surprising secret weapon. These guys, and it's only these guys, as the females lose the feature when they're three months old, have venomous spurs above their hind legs. These cute little chaps use these to defend themselves from predators and also in combat with rival platypuses. The deadly toxin that they produce to inject into an attacker can kill a dog or a cat and will cause a really painful puncture wound in a human. So you may not want to upset one. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. The Puffer Fish I'm not sure I would really call these guys cute exactly, but they are definitely deadly. A few fun facts about this funny looking fish include, they're the second most poisonous vertebrate on the planet. Even in second place though, they contain enough deadly tetrodotoxin to kill up to 30 humans, so I reckon that second place is basically irrelevant. They're named the puffer fish for the weird way that they protect themselves from would-be predators in the wild. That's because they can actually puff themselves up and make it extremely difficult for a predator to keep a hold of them or even sink their teeth in. In reality, this defense mechanism probably saves the predator's life as often as the puffer fishes because just one nibble can kill. Although their reputation as a super deadly poisonous fish is extremely well known, there are still plenty of people out there who want to eat them. Crazy perhaps, but true. And as a matter of fact, in Japan, the fish is a delicacy, but it must also absolutely be prepared by a highly skilled certified person. Make one tiny wrong cut when preparing the puffer fish, and whoever consumes it is a goner. This is a serious business, and although there's approximately one death per year from ingesting this delicacy, these are almost always caused by people attempting to prepare the fish themselves, rather than paying the high restaurant prices for an expert to do it properly. Number 13. The Golden Poison Frog now, if you've ever seen a cute little golden poison frog, don't pet it. And even if it looks like it might turn into a prince, definitely don't kiss this amphibian. Even their skin contains the deadly toxin that can literally make you totally dead. These mini frogs may only measure an inch, but they pack a lethal punch with enough poison to kill you 10 times over. The golden poison frog lives in the rainforests of Colombia, where the indigenous Embera people still use the frog's poison to tip their darts for hunting, as they have done for centuries. This is the very reason that these little creatures go by the name of Poison Frog, but that's probably pretty obvious. Although the particular combination of toxins in their bodies is deadly, there are some scientists who actually believe that by isolating different parts of the compound, they can discover some important medical use. They've actually developed a synthetic version of some of this frog's unique juice that can be used as a particularly potent painkiller. This is a pocket-sized but very powerful frog-based pharmacy. Number 12. Leopard Seals 
Oh, seals are so adorable. All roly-poly and big-eyed and cannibalistic. <laughs> what? That doesn't sound quite so cute, does it? Named for their spotty, leopardish patterned coat, the leopard seal is the most fierce and mean of all seals. They're very skilled hunters, and their favorite dinner is warm-blooded and often seal-shaped. Yikes! These heavyweight seals can tip the scales at up to 840 pounds, measuring 11 and a half feet long, and they live in the chilly Antarctic waters, where they keep warm on account of the hefty layer of blubber they keep under their speckly skin. Just like me! While it's true that these guys are partial to the odd small seal, they're also especially efficient at swallowing penguins and other seabirds. The leopard seal does have a super powerful jaw and some particularly pointy teeth, and they can be seen hanging out by an ice shelf basically waiting for penguins to jump right into their open mouths, or to make a surprise attack from underwater as a bird lands on the surface. These animals may have cute faces, but they're as ruthless as they come. Number 11. The Swan in the UK, most people have heard that swans can be pretty feisty and have been known to break arms when they're particularly cross. The swan, though, is even more dangerous than its proclivity towards limb snapping might suggest. This bird has a murderous streak. Mute swans are famously the property of the queen, although if they belong to her, how come she isn't a more responsible owner? These crazed birds have been marauding around the countryside, starting fights and breaking bones for crying out loud. The big bird is not shy at all when it comes to protecting its nest and defending its territory. In fights between male swans, it's common for the aggressor to actually push the other swan underwater. So they're also very hungry birds, needing a lot of food to keep them going. They gorge on vegetation and prey on animals like fish, frogs, and their own spawn, mollusks, and insects. Swans are actually responsible for displacing other native species, and their greedy feeding can actually damage habitats from overconsumption of vegetation. Back in 2012, a man in Chicago, Illinois would be attacked by a swan while kayaking. The bird first capsized the boat. Then, and this is the really crazy part, as if it isn't crazy enough already, the man attempted to swim to shore, but the swan prevented his escape and ultimately drowned the guy. So, although they may be beautiful to look at from a safe distance, the mute swan is not really one to be messed with. This is one bad, bad bird. Number 10, the panda. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. Pandas are so cute. How could they ever possibly be deadly? You've seen all the videos, right? They're always up to something goofy and funny like sneezing or rolling around and causing a zookeeper to run in circles with all their naughty behavior. But those, those are pandas in captivity. And a wild panda? is a much different beast altogether. With so much of what we understand about pandas being based on captive pandas and what they do, what about the wild panda's behavior? What we do know is that these bears have a wild side, and they are, well, really, really horny. So while it's true that even wild pandas do spend most of their time eating tons of bamboo, and as a result, pooping up to 100 times a day, that's right, 100 times a day, they're actually capable of something pretty fierce. A few people have had the misfortune to discover how fierce a cute panda can be. The panda's ability to chew through all that bamboo also means it has a super high bite force, and that means it can definitely tear a chunk out of a nice human limb. And that's exactly what one panda did to an inebriated individual who took an ill-advised shortcut through a panda enclosure. That's gonna leave a mark. Number nine, the anteater. Now why don't anteaters get sick? Because they're full of antibodies. <laughs> So how can a toothless, short-sighted animal with bad hearing be any kind of a deadly threat? Well, except to ants, obviously. The clue is in the name. 
Giant anteaters live in Central and South America, mostly minding their own business of poking their noses into an ant's business, and usually these guys are going to avoid humans altogether. However, they do have a couple of defense mechanisms that they bring to the table if they feel threatened. The giant anteater can grow up to seven feet long, having their famously characteristic long nose, and they're also in possession of four super sharp claws on each of their front feet. These are for digging into termite mounds and anthills, but it also turns out that they're actually useful weapons. When an anteater stands up on its rear legs and uses its tail to steady itself, kind of like a tripod, it holds out its arms. It's not really asking for a hug, that anteater is ready for a punch-up, and those claws can actually kill you. So as friendly as these animals may look, and as many huggy anteater memes as there may be, the giant anteater is actually a vicious killer. Number 8. The Tasmanian Devil you know the cartoon, the Tasmanian Devil, right? But in real life, these animals are so much more cute. These unusual creatures only live in Tasmania, hence the name, just off the coast of the Australian mainland. And the Tasmanian Devil has the appearance of a kind of a small bear, but they're actually marsupials. You know, the animals who have really tiny babies and carry them around in a pouch till they're big enough to be in the world, like kangaroos and wallabies and that sort of thing. So what exactly is deadly about these cute little creatures? Well, they do have a pretty scary name, so they must be at least a little bit naughty, right? It turns out the name comes from a totally insane screeching howl that the Tasmanian devil is known for. Europeans, upon first encountering the animal, thought in that classic ignorant colonial style that the little creature made such unearthly noises that it was actually a devil, <laughs> which at the time is maybe completely rational, right? <laughs> so perhaps their name is a bit unfair to the Tasmanian devil. I mean, they're unlikely to ever actually harm a human, but they do certainly give you a pretty nasty bite if you're mean to them. They actually prefer their food pre-dead, eating mainly carrion, and they have a really strong teeth and jaw structure for munching through bones. They're very noisy eaters as well, but if you're a chicken, you should definitely watch out. The Tasmanian devil is known for its hen-killing habit and is particularly partial to the easy prey of farm animals. Number 7. The Slow Loris Although very seldom seen, the slow loris is amongst the rarest of all primates on planet Earth. These animals do have a little bit of a reputation. Apart from being very slow moving, well, duh, they also have an incredibly poisonous bite. A bite from a loris is super deadly, and there's no known antidote. This is an unusual feature for a primate, and scientists are still actually trying to figure out exactly why the loris has a venomous bite at all. They're pretty cute though, if you like the humanish characteristics of these animals. They have really human looking hands. Isn't that just a little bit creepy? No, it's, 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 it is, it is. Add to the fact that the word loris is from the Dutch for clown, and that these animals have extra vertebrae, so they move more like a snake than a primate. They end up being this weird, clown-faced, human-fingered, snake-creeping creature. So please be careful, and remember, they also have a deadly and incurable venom-dripping bite. Number 6. The Blue Ringed Octopus a dinky little octopus with a deadly sting. The blue ringed octopus is only about five and eight inches long, but also has a venomous bite, which contains enough poison to kill 26 humans within a few minutes. It's no surprise then that these little fellas are amongst the deadliest creatures in all our oceans. The lethal neurotoxin that the blue ringed octopus uses is none other than tetrodotoxin, the same stuff that makes the pufferfish and the golden poison frogs so dangerous. So we know it's a serious substance that's possessed by only the most toxic creatures in the animal kingdom. If this octopus does happen to bite you, the only chance of survival is an almost immediate medical intervention and a life-saving venture 
ventilator. The neurotoxin literally paralyzes the body and stops all motor functions, including breathing. But look how beautiful they are. As well as having a bite with 1,000 times the killing power of cyanide, the blue ringed octopus has a whole ton of other skills, including making itself look as trippy as a lava lamp. This is actually the octopus's warning system, so if it does feel threatened, it'll light itself up like a Christmas tree as a sign to any would-be predator to back off. And if that ends up being you, I would pay attention. Number 5. The Elephant Elephants are magnificent, intelligent, and famously vegetarian, majestic creatures. So what could possibly be making these beautiful animals turn up on a list of deadly things? Well, to be honest, it's the horrible way that humans have treated elephants that has caused it. Elephants, they'd never forget. It may be an old saying, but it remains true. While elephants are highly intelligent and sensitive mammals, they also have an extraordinary memory. And many, many elephants have some pretty horrific memories of just what humans have done to them and their families. In recent decades, there have, mercifully, been greater efforts to protect the species and introduce areas for elephants to live in without the threat of hunting. However, as life on the planet becomes increasingly difficult for many people as well as animals, the size of these elephant reserves is frequently not big enough for the elephants to avoid contact with humans. And it does seem that elephants Elephants are basically suffering from PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, which humans often suffer from when they're exposed to horrifying and dangerous experiences. So it makes sense that elephants can experience this as well. They do remember, after all. Since most bad things that happen to elephants have been done by humans, you can only imagine how elephants might feel about them. And yes, it can end badly when they meet. Number 4. Shrews a shrew? Deadly? <laughs> Don't be silly. The Killer Shrews, that was just a 1950s B-movie, wasn't it? These cute little long-nosed creatures have a few surprising characteristics, but deadly? Even just a little bit? They are busy little creatures and do move very fast, and they also have to eat a lot to survive. If they don't eat within a few hours, then they die. And they actually have to eat their own body weights worth of food per day. They mainly eat insects, worms, seeds, and berries. And as they're short-sighted, they use their whiskers and the sense of smell to help them find food. So far, that's not so deadly. So what is it about this seemingly harmless shrew that puts them amongst these other cute but deadly creatures? <laughs> well, it's, it's kind of weird. Shrews are actually venomous. A bite from a shrew could kill a mouse and leave a nasty, swollen, painful bite on a human. So you don't really want to go around poking them. The scariest thing about this particular shrew feature is that a shrew likes to keep its prey alive so that it can return to it again and again when other food sources are scarce. The venom will paralyze the prey so that it's unable to move, but it won't actually kill it. That way the shrew can take its time over its meal. Death by a thousand nibbles. Perhaps that old horror movie wasn't so far off from the truth at all. Number three. Great Horned Owls The Great Horned Owl will eat anything. Literally anything that moves. And even sometimes stuff that's been dead for a little bit. <laughs> Although not the biggest birds of prey, the horned owl can weigh up to about 5 pounds, but I don't think that that really makes them feeble. This bird can carry up to four times its own weight. So although they do usually eat rabbits, rats, or hares, they're more than capable of picking up a skunk or even a raccoon. Some more insane great horned owls have even tried their luck and caught ospreys and hawks. Their silent attack is their most deadly weapon. That and their incredible crushing power. A creature caught in their talons is squeezed with a spine crushing 28 pounds of pressure. <coughs> So I reckon there's good reason for pets to give the owls hunting ground a wide berth. You should also know that even people need to watch out. 
There have been reports, particularly during winter nesting months, of great horned owls attacking people if they stray too close to the owls nesting and hunting grounds. In fact, in one report, a 12-year-old boy would be cross-country skiing in a Montana state park when a horned owl thought that he looked a little bit shifty and then silently swooped in. The bird of prey flew directly at the kid, talons straight at his face, and floored him. The boy would be lucky he didn't receive a talon in the eye or even worse. And even after all he went through, he still wants to be an ornithologist when he grows up. No kidding! Number 2. Cone Snails A slow-moving snail with a carnivorous tendency needs a ruthlessly efficient system to stop their prey from wandering off. The cone snail has developed one of the most deadly and effective poison delivery techniques on the planet. The venom that a cone snail uses actually causes paralysis in its prey almost instantly. That's pretty scary for a snail. The cone snail also has a very particular way to get the poison into its prey. They have a sort of harpoon-like tooth which they fire out in front of them. This pokes into their victim, delivering a deadly toxic cocktail which is brutally efficient. Oddly enough though, scientists have discovered a certain isolated part of the toxic combo may actually have some huge medical possibilities as a painkiller. Despite the painkilling potential that's hidden inside of its lethal venom, humans have indeed been killed by the venomous sting of a cone snail. There's actually no known antidote to the venom at this point. So the only hope that you have if you do get stung is that you can be kept alive by machines and medical miracles until the toxins just wear off. And that, my friends, is risky business. So live by this mantra the next time you see a snail. If it's a cone, leave it alone. Number 1. The Cassowary If there was ever a bird that showed the likely evolution of dinosaurs into modern birds, this is probably the one. I mean, just look at it, and tell me it's not a ruddy dinosaur. The cassowary has been given the ominous title of world's most dangerous bird, and there's a very good reason for that. These crazy looking flightless birds can actually kill you with one swipe of their foot. Seriously, cassowaries are native to parts of Asia and Australia, and as a listed dangerous exotic bird, if you want to breed them, you'll actually need a permit. The blue-faced, helmet-headed cassowary can grow as tall as 6 foot 6 inches, weighing up to as much as 132 pounds. So if one of these attacks you, it's not really exactly like being set upon by a sparrow. The cassowary is equipped with a lethal weapon, having three toes on each foot, and one of these toes is essentially a dagger. It has been recorded that cassowaries have literally eviscerated humans with this knife-sharp toenail, so efficient, it can actually sever a limb from a person. So that makes it one dangerous toe. These birds do need some serious podiatrist intervention. A 75-year-old man in Florida would be attacked by his own cassowaries at his Florida home, and he was so badly injured by the attack that he passed away. So as it turns out, these modern-day dinosaurs can and just might kill you. So, before you go charging off towards a cute creature, remember that these guys aren't all as cuddly as they look. Have you had any close encounters with a cute but deadly animal? Let me know about it in the comments below. Also, check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.